Business blogging perils, not blogging at all. Not blogging at all. Big mistake. Buy-in from top management, and you know as a senior chief that, that is, uh, that's one of the, the, the biggest resistors is the C-level executives are like, blogs, please. We got billboards to buy, right? And they're not getting it. They, and then there's control versus conversation. Not only that, just to go back, buy-in from top management. A blog, you know, the top management, they get freaked out because they don't quite understand how the whole internet community works. They don't know how we're all connected, right, with the click of a mouse, and how quickly a company that has set themselves up on the web to be optimized, to be found, and distribute their content widely, that's just setting up a blog. You know, your, your web designer can help you with that, or you can go to blogger.com and set one up yourself. But the fact is that it's, it's two pieces. It's knowing that technology isn't really in your way, and the second piece is really just getting behind the fact that if you stay the course and play the rules of posting as frequently as possible with something that you're passionate about, and frequent could be every day, every other day, every few days. But put in the time. Put in the investment. Make a commitment. Get over your writer fright. Don't worry about if someone's going to come. It's a lot different than the websites we built. Remember, like the movie Field of Dreams? If we build it, they will come. And they didn't come. What happened? Oh, gosh, that's right. We didn't hire that search engine marketing agency and give them 10 grand to try and help us with pay-per-click and search engine optimization and all that, right? That was the web world. Well, now it's a lot different. The little guy, you and me, can quickly get newspapers to write about us and, and, and get you know, called to as an expert overnight. Well, not overnight, but very, very quickly, within months of being just consistently visible by Google and Yahoo and so many of these social networks that look at a blog and they say, that's what we want to make number one. If you put up a new website, it's going to be years before you get ranked, right? They're even docking you for starting a new website now. A new URL or domain is not nearly as respected by Google or Yahoo as it used to be. Um, but a blog, <laughs> you get content in there and uh, stay consistent and make sure, that you're, um, make sure that you're building relationship every day or every other day. At least two links a week. Links means go out, talk to a blogger, go email a blogger. I wouldn't call them. That, that, they don't want to be called. Email them. This is the world, right? We don't want to talk to anybody, right? Don't talk to me. Just email me. Isn't that awful? I just, ugh, drives me nuts. We're going, we need to get back to humanality. Um, but yet we are community, so it's weird. It's like we are getting more intertwined, but yet we don't want to pick up the phone. Um, so again, it's, it's, gosh darn it, losing my place every time tonight. That's a trip. What's going on? I had a good night's sleep last night. Um, intertwined. Being able to lower your cost of marketing and raise your return, right? Um, link building every other day. You guys can help me out get back on track. See, I was talking about link building with your partners. Those are the two rules. Posting regularly and building links with other bloggers, links to each other, right? I loved your blog. I love this content. I'd love to put a, I'd love to, uh, put a link back to this post. They'll, and they'll be watching you now because you're giving them love. 